Good day! This is Sir Villamor Ardelion, Teacher 1 from the Lampang Elementary School, your teacher presenter for today's episode of Dep Ed Teleturuan, Grade 4 Mathematics. Our lesson for today is all about addition and subtraction of similar and dissimilar fraction. But before that, let's have a short review about kinds of fraction. Clap once when the fractions are similar and clap twice if the fractions are dissimilar. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number 1. 2 fourths and 3 fourths. Very good. 2 fourths and 3 fourths are similar fractions. Number 2. 4 ninths and 6 ninths. You are right. 4 ninths and 6 ninths are similar fractions. Number 3. 3 fifths and 2 fifths. Very good. 3 fifths and 2 fifths are similar fraction. Number 4. 2 sixths and 3 eighths. You are right. 2 6 and 3 8 are the similar fraction. Number 5, 3 7 and 8 12. Very good. 3 7 and 8 12 are the similar fraction. Similar fractions are fractions with same denominators. Example, 2 fourths and 3 fourths, 4 ninths and 6 ninths, 3 fifths and 2 fifths. The similar fractions are fractions with different denominators. For example, 2 6 and 3 8, 3 7 and 8 12, 7 9 and 6 15. To find out how to add similar fraction, let's have this word problem. Vito and John Carl bought a large pizza and sliced it into 8 equal parts. Vito ate 2 eighths of the pizza while JC ate 4 eighths of the pizza. What part of the pizza? Did they eat? Let's have this illustration. 2 eighths plus 4 eighths is equal to 6 eighths. In adding similar fractions, we have to remember these three steps. Step 1, add the numerators. 2 plus 4 is 6. Step 2, copy the denominator. Their common denominator is 8. That gives us 6 over 8. Step 3, reduce the answer to lowest term. 6 over 8 divided by the GCF, which is 2, is 3 fourths. So, 3 fourths of pizza, Vito and JC eat. Let's have another example. 6 twelves plus 3 twelves. Step 1, add the numerator. 6 plus 3 is 9. Step 2, Copy the denominator. Their denominator is 12. That gives us 9 over 12. Step 3. Reduce the answer to lowest term. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, 6 12 plus 3 twelves is equal to 3 fourths. Let's have another example. 15 over 25 plus 10 over 25. Step 1. Add the numerators. Very good. 15 plus 10 is 25. Step 2, copy the denominator. The denominator is 25. That gives us 25 over 25. Step 3, reduce the answer to lowest term. When the numerator and the denominator is equal, then the fraction is equal to 1. Let's now proceed to the subtraction of similar fraction. Prince had 5 sixths of buko pie. He ate 1 sixth. How much was left? Let's have this illustration. 5 sixths minus 1 sixths is equal to 4 over 6. To subtract similar fractions, we have to remember these three steps. Step 1, subtract the numerators. 5 minus 1 is 4. Step 2, copy the denominator. The denominator is 6 that gives us 4 over 6. Step 3, reduce the answer to lowest term. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, 5 6 minus 1 6 is 2 thirds of book 5. Let's have another example. 14 over 27 minus 5 over 27. Step 1, subtract the numerators. 14 minus 5 
is 9. Very good. Step 2, copy the denominator. And their denominator is 27. You are right. Step 3, reduce answer to lowest term. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 13 over 27 minus 5 over 27 is 1 third. Very good. Let's have another one. 12 over 16 minus 7 over 16. Another example, 5 tenths plus 3 fifths. Step 1, very good. Multiply the denominator. 10 times 5 is 50. Step 2, cross multiply. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. Multiply the numerator of the second fraction to the denominator of the first fraction. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 10 is 30. Step 3, add the product of step 2. 25 plus 30 is 55 over 50. Step 4, reduce the lowest term. 55 over 50 divided by, by their GCF, which is 5, is 11 over 10. Let's now proceed to subtraction of the similar fraction. Alma has 8 over 12 living cap. She shared 5 eighths with her classmate. What part of the bibingka was left? The fractions 8 twelfths and 5 eighths are the similar fractions. These fractions have different denominators. Let's have 8 over 12 minus 5 eighths. Step 1, multiply the denominator. 12 times 8 is 96. Step 2, cross multiply. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. Multiply the numerator of the second fraction to the denominator of the first fraction. 8 times 8 is 64. 12 times 5 is 60. Step 3, subtract the product of step 2. 64 minus 60 is 4. That gives us 4 over 96. Step 4, reduce the lowest term. 4 over 96 divided by 4 is 1 over 24. Another example. 
4 sevenths minus 3 eighths. Step 1, multiply the denominator. 7 times 8 is 56. Step 2, cross multiply. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. Multiply the numerator of the second fraction to the denominator of the first fraction. 4 times 8 is 32. 7 times 3 is 21. Very good. Step 3. Subtract the product of step 2. 32 minus 21 is 11. That gives us 11 over 56. Step 4. Reduce the lowest term. 11 over 56 is already in its lowest term. You are doing great! Now, it's your turn. Write an equation for each problem, then solve. Number 1. Pilita walked her dog 4 fifths kilometers on Saturday and 3 fifths kilometers on Sunday around the village. How far is that all together? Number 2. Ivan jogged 3 fourths kilometer yesterday and 2 fifths kilometer today along the Bergara Highway. How far did he jog for 2 days? Number 3. Karina needed 3 and 1 fourths meter of red ribbon to, re to decorate a desk but she only has 2 and 3 fifths meter. How many meters of ribbon is she still needed? Number 4. Chris has 3 fourths yards of material. He uses 1 half to cover a chair. How much yards is he left with? Time's up! Let's check your work. The answer in number 1 is 7 fifths kilometers. The answer in number 2 is 23 over 20 kilometers. The answer in number 3 is 1 and 7 20 meters of red ribbon. The answer in number 4 is 1 fourth chart of material. That ends our lesson for today. Again, I am Sir Villamor Ardeleon, your teacher presenter for today.